Hey everyone, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and today I'm doing my entry into SPT Killerwood, his 100 subscriber giveaway, and I think he might be over 200 now, something like that. Uh, SPT Killerwood, I I've known him, uh, man, I guess close to when he first started his videos, and I'll tell you what, awesome guy, puts on some great videos, lots of great uh, uh, comic book hauls, and it's awesome stuff. So, um... He asked a few questions. Uh, first of all, had to be 18 uh, to enter. I barely made that. I'm 44, so I barely made that. I've been, like I said, I've been a subscriber to his channel for, for a long, long time. And by the way, if you haven't subbed his channel, definitely check him out. Uh, if you like my channel, you'll probably love his channel as well. Uh, and he had uh, some uh, comic book questions also. Uh, my top five uh, comic book covers or artists. I think that's exactly how he phrased it. But uh, for me, I, I went ahead and did both. And now the covers, I cannot say these are definitely my top uh, five covers because a lot of comics I have actually bought just for the covers themselves. So I'm going to run through a few of these first off. This is The Amazing Spider-Man number 606 by um, J. Scott Campbell. There you go. I think that's just an amazing cover. I could have gone with uh, a couple more from this little run in Spider-Man because he had a great run of uh, covers in these. Uh, next, uh, this one right here, man, I just love this cover. Uh, it is by Alex Garner. This is uh, Batgirl from the New 52, number 26. And I love this cover. And this is one of those comics right there you could probably find in dollar bins. I actually found this one in a dollar bin. But I love it because you got Gordon there about to shoot Batgirl and not knowing that that's actually his daughter. And it's just, that to me is amazing art. That is just phenomenal. Uh, Alex Garner, like I said, I didn't really know anything about uh, his work or anything. So I started looking at this little run in Batgirl. It's phenomenal. Phenomenal stuff. Uh, next, uh, these three right here are tough for me. But I'm going to go with this one right here. Alex Ross art. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 568. Uh, to be honest, it's the variant edition, actually. When I first saw this, I honestly thought it was a cosplayer. Uh, Alex Ross' art is so amazing. That, to me, it's the art of it itself is amazing, but it, it's so scary yet so gorgeous at the same time. It's just amazing. I mean, what he can do is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous set these right here uh next uh this one right here it's just one of my favorite you know i put harley in here somewhere but this right here to me is even better than her first appearance this is uh batman adventures mad love uh, the reason i think this one's actually better than her first appearance because this one actually gives her backstory about how she was a, a psychiatrist working in arkham uh joker manipulated her and and she fell in love, and it's just so amazing. And how she went from being Dr. Harleen Quinzel to Harley Quinn, so awesome. Great story. Um, I love the cover itself. I think it's a really good cover, but it's just one of my favorite actual stories, too, as well. So that's, that's why I picked that one. And last, this one right here is one that I tracked down for a while, um, and I said before I probably paid too much for it. I don't care. It's one of those, I just, the cover of it itself, I think is phenomenal. It is Detective Comics 880. It is 880, right? Yep. I almost said 881. 881 was the last issue in, uh, before they went to the new 52. But the, the cover, I just think it's just outstanding. This is a Jock cover. I mean, Jock, he had a, a great run in, uh, the Detective Comics toward the end of their, their run before they went to new 52. I just love his face is basically made out of bats flying out. It's just, to me, it's amazing. Um, you know, you've probably seen posters of it, um, cell phone covers, t-shirts. And to me, that is just an amazing cover. So yeah, I definitely had to pick that one up when I, when I saw it. So that's my top five covers. And like I say, I've got a lot more that I bought just for covers. So I'm kind of, you know, going right there with that. Uh, next is... I picked my top five artists, and this one's almost impossible, I think. I really do. Because, uh, like, Alex Garner, like I said, I just found him out, um, like, a month or two ago. And so I'm really starting to dig those covers. But I'm kind of going with the ones I look at as my, 
my, my kind of my tried and true cover people. You know, my artist. We start off with Amanda Connor. Uh, instead of picking Harley Quinn, like I know everyone thought, I picked Super Zero, which I thought this six issue series was great. Only thing is, they left it hanging and there needs to be more. Uh, Aftershock Comics, they haven't been around too long, but what they have done has been really, really good. Just about everything they've put out has been great. But Super Zero, this six issue series, I thought was amazing. So, come on, add more to the story, please. Please for me. I think this is great, just great story. So, but Amanda Connor, you know, she's really known for doing her Harley Quinn, uh, Super Zero. She's done a lot of other stuff as well, but really known for Harley Quinn right now. Uh, let's see, what order am I putting these in? Let's go with this one next. Um, Jim Lee. Jim Lee is known for a ton of stuff, but I picked this one in particular because I love that cover. Uh, this is, uh, was that uh, Identity Crisis? Uh, there's actually a variant copy of this one as well, but this right here I think is amazing. I just love that art. Uh, Jim Lee, phenomenal. So that's why I had to pick that one right there. That looks great. <laughs> just You see all the characters in the background. And again, this is one I picked up just for the cover because I think it's just stunning. Just awesome. Awesome art. Uh, next, and this guy's been around a while, so it's awesome. And I actually won this comic in a contest. So, um, man, this is awesome. This is uh, J. Scott Campbell. Uh, his work, again, it's just great. <laughs> it's just amazing work. There we go. I actually want, I, I, I should have mentioned it. I won this from uh, Airborne Sapper, uh, his videos. Uh, definitely check out his stuff, Airborne Sapper. Great stuff. Um, I love his videos. Everyone he puts out, I check out. So check him out as well. So there you go. Look at that artwork. That's amazing. He's got so much great artwork. It's just, it's not funny. It's, uh, this one right here, this is a guy that's been around seemingly forever. I mean, not literally, but, um, man, when he switched uh, from Marvel to, um, to Image and started Image, he brought out Spawn. Uh, this is number eight, and I just think that's great. To me, I, I assume this is a, like an homage to spider-man which he did for a while his spider-man was great um uh, spider-man number 300 i think it's so. amazing spider-man 300 is an amazing cover uh so good uh he kind of changed the web that spider-man had and we talked about this in our last podcast of how good his artwork is and so and he does everything in this uh story art pencil i think he does penciling i think he does everything in it so there you go spawn there you go and last, again, I'm going back to Alex Ross. Uh, I think Alex Ross's art, I think what I like most about it, as you can see, it looks, to be honest, almost less like art and, and more like photography. I mean, some of his stuff, it literally looks like to me that they went out and took a picture of something. Some of it looks that good. And that's why I love his art. Uh, and one more that was honorable mention, and I didn't know who to take out. I would have taken out Amanda Connor, just but I love my Harley Quinn, you know that. So um, it was uh, Neil Adams. Neil Adams is definitely in my top five as well. But you know Alex Ross for me, he's the man. He is the man. Love his art. Just man, that's one of those, that's an artist that I definitely want to meet. Definitely want to meet him. Uh, let's see. Next question from uh, Killer Wood was uh, connecting covers. What's my favorite connecting cover set? Again, something really, really difficult. And I believe it was him that had um, a Harley Quinn set. Somebody had a Harley Quinn set. Um, I can't remember which set it was. But so I decided, you know what? I'm going a different direction because, you know, just because. And my connecting cover set is eight issues. It's an eight issue connecting cover set. It is from Civil War II. And let's see if we can kind of make it look like it goes together. Uh, we have like the sketch set. You know, you kind of you can kind of put them together. You kind of see, but it's eight issues in the sketch set. So I would really like to at some point see. And this connects to this one, I believe. Does that connect to that one? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But you know, when when you get the whole set together, it looks really really cool. There's the next one, and then you had the the bottom row of them. 
Let's see. There we go. This one's got Medusa on it. Uh, one of my favorite characters now out of the uh, Inhumans, by the way. Really good series. There you go. And that connects to that one. And I'm going to give you an idea of what it actually looks like put together. Because they were kind enough to make an issue. They kind of put them all together. Which is really cool of them. Because when they got after this one, I was like, well, what are they supposed to do now? Because they have one more issue to go, so let's take this off here. So you guys can see what it looks like when the whole thing is put together. There you go. That's what the whole thing looks like when it's put together. Let's see if we can get it nice zoomed in for you. There you go. So I, that that's probably my favorite um, set, but it, it's really hard because generally if I find that there's a connecting set, I'm going to end up trying to get it. So there we go. Um, two more questions. How long have I been collecting comics? Well, I started way back in probably the mid 80s for just a, kind of a little while. Uh, I was in the hospital and they had some comics there. So I, I started reading some of those and it started with Batman, Superman, uh, Wonder Woman. I was more DC. Um, I also read Spidey and uh, Spider-Man and um, uh, Captain America. But for me, it was those DC characters that really grabbed my attention when I was a kid. So I kind of followed them all the way through. Uh, kind of late 80s, I was in baseball cards. Uh, early 90s, I started coming back for a while. Then during one of my moves, uh, I got out of comics again. And yeah, we, we kind of threw a bunch of them away thinking, yeah, I'm never going to read those again. No big deal. And I've gotten back into them again. So for about the last five years, I've really been back into them again and just loving some of the stories. Some of them not so much, but, you know, some you're going to like, some you're not. Uh, let's see. What's next? What do I like about SPT Killer Witch Channel? Uh, first off, I love the fact that he's going to tell you like it is. If he if he's not digging something, uh, eBay buys. Some, sometimes he'll get stuff from eBay. You know, great stuff. Sometimes if it's not so great, he'll let you know about it. And I love that because sometimes people just automatically say, Oh, this is great you'll love it even though it might have a big crease down the middle you pay full price when it's got a crease but you know what you're gonna act like you like it and my man uh killer wood he's, he's gonna be like man this is crap and he's and he will rip somebody on it and i, I love that i think that's awesome um and and I, other one you know another thing i just think he's a good dude he seems like a really good dude seems like somebody i like to just hang out with you know go out for me have some water him have a beer if he needs to whatever but for me you know, I, just, I think it'd be cool to hang out with him, you know, meet at a comic con somewhere and just hang out, go grab some lunch or something. Seems like a great dude. Uh, Killer Wood, keep it, keep it up, man. Like I say, I don't know how many you're up to now, but I know you're well over 200. Uh, I'm well over 100 anyway. I think over two, I believe. I'm not sure. But um, keep it up, my friend. And you guys, if you haven't checked him out, definitely check out Killer Wood. Awesome stuff. And I'll definitely have a link below so you guys can check out his channel. Uh, once again, congrats, buddy, and keep it up, and you guys have an incredible day.